Everyone thinks they know who Zayn is, but do they really? Well, that's why I'm here today. Zayn, spelled Z-A-I-N, Javid Malik, was born on July 12, 1993 in Bradford, West Yorkshire to an immigrant Pakistani father Yazir and a white British mother Trisha. Zayn grew up as only brother with three sisters, two younger and one older, as part of a working class family in East Bowling, Bradford. As a teenager, Zayn took up an interest in the performing arts and even appeared in school productions, while at the same time writing raps in between classes. Interestingly enough, when former superstar Jay Sean visited his school, Zayn sang on stage for the first time, which likely ignited his love for performing that much more. Put simply, Zayn was a man of many hats, and around the same time took up boxing from the age 15 to 17, alongside pursuing a degree in hopes of becoming an English teacher before the whole music thing took off. In 2010, as only 17-year-old Zayn auditioned for The X Factor, which likely wouldn't have even happened if his mother didn't convince him to go considering how nervous he was. At the audition, Zayn sang Let Me Love You by Mario, not this one by the way, and after getting a few yeses, advanced to boot camp. Fast forward a bit, and although Zayn didn't make the finals, with some help from guest judge Nicole Scherzinger, he was put into 1D. And you know what happened after that, but that's for another video, because this one is simply about my man Zayn. On March 25th, 2015, Zayn left One Direction in order to relax and take some time out of the spotlight for a bit. Much easier said than done for a superstar like him. And so following a few weeks of recovery, Zayn was seen in a London recording studio with Naughty Boy, but eventually the duo parted ways as Zayn announced that he had signed with RCA Records. Fast forward a bit, and in January 2016, he released the debut single off his upcoming album titled Pillow Talk. I don't even have to guess, I know you heard the song, and probably heard it a thousand times, because it's a bop, and was an easy number one all across the world as Zayn was able to break free from the One Direction stigma in favor of his R&B roots. Needless to say, the single was more than enough promo for Zayn as a solo artist, and upon that the up and coming album Mind of Mind, which was released in March of 2016, and just like Pillow Talk, was an immediate number one worldwide. The album had elements of numerous genres, although mainly R&B and soul, and was received with all sorts of praise as it elevated Zayn to number one on the Billboard Artist 100 chart. Not only just that, but Zayn was also the first male British artist to debut at number one in both the UK and the US. So let's just say he was doing pretty well. There are hot starts, and then there's what Zayn did, catapulting to the top of the music world in the blink of an eye, and doing it his way. More! As you could tell, things were going extremely well for good old Zayn to say the least. But they got even better after he released his song with Taylor Swift for the Fifty Shades Darker soundtrack with I Don't Wanna Live Forever. You come back home? Although the song didn't go number one like Pillow Talk, I would say number two in the US and five in the UK is not too shabby, as it reinforced Zayn's place as one of the biggest artists in the world. <laughs> It wasn't long before Zayn started work on a second album, as on March 24th, 2017, he released the debut single Still Got Time, featuring Party Next Door, as it was Zayn's introduction into the dance club world. Although it didn't quite chart like his previous work, the following single Dust Till Dawn made up for that and much more. The song was released on September 7th, 2017, and did extremely well charting across the globe as it further built interest for the upcoming album. Anyways, fast forward to the following year, and that April, Zane dropped Let Me, then in May, Entertainer, and that July, the song Too Much. It seemed like my man was dropping singles like hotcakes, but in reality, it was only the beginning as he dropped three more, with the songs Fingers and No Candle, No Light. After throwing down song after song, Zayn announced the album Icarus Falls, alongside releasing his first promo single Rainberry, and then that December dropped two more promo singles in Good Years and There You Are. After a marathon of a promotional cycle, on December 14th, Zayn released a 27 track album to favorable reviews, although not so favorable performance, as it surprisingly only peaked at 61 on the US Billboard Hot 100. Maybe it was the whirlwind of a promotional cycle, or maybe Zayn fatigue. But either way, Icarus Falls did not do all that well commercially, which was a pretty big shock considering how big a name Zayn had become. It wasn't until 2019 that Zayn made an appearance back in the music scene, and he did so with the cover of A Whole New World for the live-action Aladdin remake. And the trend of collaborations continued that September, as Zayn made a remix of the song Trampoline with a band Shade, and then followed it up with yet another collaboration, this time with Rehab and Jungle Boy for the electro-pop tune Flames. 
Fast forward a year or so, and it wasn't until September 2020 that Zayn released the debut single for his third album, with the track Better. The song was his first solo release in nearly two years, and although you would think the hype behind the return would lead to chart success, it only peaked at 89 on the Billboard Hot 100. Following the release of Better, in January of the following year, Zayn dropped the second single of Vibes, which crazy enough didn't even hit the Hot 100, and made the underwhelming performance of the album Nobody Is Listening less of a surprise and more of a concern. Questionable management and likely backdoor dispute led RCA Records to drop Zayn off their label in October 2021, which ushered in a quiet period in the music department for Zayn until early this year. On January 26, 2023, Billboard reported that Zayn had signed a new management contract with United Talent Agency, and then that June signed a recording contract with Mercury Records. Considering the gap in time from his last album and the underwhelming performance of his recent releases, as you could probably guess, there were a lot of questions leading up to the release of his new single, Love Like This. You say what you say when you're on my line. As of me writing this, the song has been out for just over a week, and so far has performed decently well. But this isn't a surprise, because no matter what, it's going to take some time for Zayn to get back to where he was when he released Pillow Talk and Dust Till Dawn. But considering his vocal talent and widespread appeal, I don't think it's all that impossible. Based on how quickly the single was released after Zayn signed with Mercury, I would guess that we will be hearing a lot more Malik tunes for the rest of this year and into 2024. Since Zayn is a pretty reserved guy, it's tough to predict what he's going to do next. But after going on Call Her Daddy a few weeks ago, it seems like he's stepping out of his comfort zone more than ever before, which is really cool to see. If I'm being 100% honest, I've never been a massive Zayn fan, but I've enjoyed his 1D tunes and solo stuff, and it seems like he's finding his own with songs like Love Like This, and so now with new management, hopefully his upcoming album gets the recognition that it deserves. But only time can answer all these questions, although I mean, it's Zayn we're talking about. He's an icon in both the fashion and music worlds, and has only released 3 solo albums so far, so you gotta keep in mind that his potential is still up there in the stars, so he can still do quite a bit of stuff. Although it seems that he would likely not be a part of a potential 1D reunion, all things considered, at least he and Liam are on good terms, because it seems like he's dealt with quite a bit of turmoil in his still relatively new career. You don't just talk to thousands of people. It was something that I had to, you know, learn to uh, adjust. Do you think that Zayn's upcoming album will do well, or has too much time pass? Let me know, and drop your favorite song of his down in the good old comments section. And although I doubt you care, my personal favorite is the new one, Love Like This. But anyways, subscribe and like if you enjoyed the video, and have a great rest.